Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video I am doing a first impressions on the new Makeup Revolution foundation stick. Now I'm so excited to try this out. I feel like a lot of drugstore brands now are releasing foundation sticks. Obviously um, I've just filmed a video on the L'Oreal Infallible foundation stick and I really really love that. Um, so I'm hoping I will like this one just as much. Um, and this one is only actually £5 so it's quite a lot cheaper than the L'Oreal one. I think it's about half the price. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to give this a go and see how it turns out. I absolutely love the packaging on this foundation stick. It's this really nice kind of nude shade and then it obviously has like the rose gold details which I think are absolutely gorgeous. So if you'd like to see my first impressions and a wear test of this foundation then just keep watching. So I am going to be applying a primer before my foundation. I'm going to be using the Gosh Primer Plus primer just because this tends to kind of give my skin a little bit of colour and I think the foundation shade I've chosen is a little bit too light which is fine um, but this will sort of help to balance that out. So as you can see that gives the skin a really nice bit of colour. Um, one thing to consider throughout this video is that I have quite oily skin. Um, normally with most foundations I tend to get quite shiny so kind of excited to see whether or not this one will go shiny on my skin. Um, so yeah let's go ahead with applying it. I picked mine up in the shade F3. Now I bought this online so I have no idea if this is going to be the right shade or not. I think it's going to be too light. But I've seen Hannah Renee's video on this foundation and she tends to kind of dab it onto her foundation brush like this and then dab it onto the face so that's how I'm going to apply this foundation stick today. I find sometimes if you apply it straight to the skin um, it doesn't blend out so evenly. I've especially have found that with the L'Oreal foundation stick so I'm going to go with um, how she applied it this time instead. So I'm not taking a huge amount because I I don't want this to be too heavy on the skin. Yeah, this is definitely going to be too light. It might match my neck quite well, but the rest of my body is a bit darker because I do have fake tan on at the moment. But this has actually got quite a nice coverage to it. It's definitely not full coverage, like it's not completely covering up blemishes. Um, but it's definitely got like a good medium coverage, I would say. So I think that is all blended. I'm just going to go over with my sponge just to make sure there's no kind of brush marks. I tend to do this with all my foundations just to make sure everything is fully blended. I'm really hoping you can see what that looks like on the skin. But as you can see, it looks so natural like it literally looks like I've got no product on my face at all. I've just brought the exposure down a little bit more so hopefully you can see it really clearly. Okay so I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this foundation because it isn't claim it doesn't claim to be a matte foundation but I would say it's kind of got like a sort of semi matte finish sort of like a dewier matte if that makes sense because um, it's not super shiny but it's not matte it's kind of like in between like a luminous effect on the skin um, and honestly it looks so so natural like you can hardly tell I've got any product on my face at all. I absolutely love the coverage of this foundation I think it looks so so nice nice. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to sort of show you what it looks like once I've got all of the rest of my products on top. So I have just finished off all of my makeup and I'm not going to lie, I absolutely love how this foundation looks. Now that I have mattified my face down with a powder, I'm much happier with the kind of finish of the foundation because personally for me, I don't really like anything too dewy. Um, so that's just something to note that you can actually mattify this down with any old powder. I just use the Rimmel Stay Matte and it's gone completely matte on the face. So yeah, so far so good. I'm going to leave this on my face for the rest of the day now and then do a check-in at the end of the day to show you guys what the foundation is looking like. I will probably do that on my vlogging camera though because the lighting will probably be a bit rubbish at that time of night. So yeah, so far so good. I will do a close-up in a second but it's not looking cakey in the slightest. Like it literally looks so so nice. So I'm so impressed so far with this foundation. So again, I've just lowered the exposure so you can see what it looks like on the skin, but I think it looks really, really flawless. Hello everybody, so I, I would just thought I'd do a quick check-in at the end of the day to show you what the foundation is looking like. So I have now had this foundation on for nine hours and I do have quite a bright light in front of me. So as you can see, it is a little bit shiny, but honestly, I am so impressed with this foundation. It's come off a little bit around my nose and my chin. Um, that's just where I've been kind of resting on my face. Um, 
I'm honestly so darn impressed with this foundation. Like, this is holding up better than my, like, £15 number 7 foundation. Like, this is insane. I am so, so happy with how this looks. It hasn't broken up at all around my face. There's no patchiness. There's literally nothing. I can't fault it, apart from the fact that it's a tiny bit shiny, but, like... You could just get away with this as being like dewy instead of like being oily. Honestly, I'm so, so impressed with this foundation. So if you're looking for a cheap, affordable foundation, I would highly, highly recommend this one. It's just amazing. I can't believe how well it's done. Like it's a fiver. You really cannot go wrong. So yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go and give it a massive thumbs up if you did. And go and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.